Hello, everyone. Today, I want to talk about the simplicity of salvation. How simple it is to be happy. You know, in the Course in Miracles, there are three hundred and sixty-five workbook lessons that. It is a mind training program, and every day Jesus gives us a central theme for our mind to focus on over a period of a、uh, year. And among the three hundred sixty-five lessons, there are many, many review lessons. After a period of time.、Um, He gives us, you know, a period of ten to twenty days where we just review the lessons, you know, we practiced before that. But there are three lessons, not the reviews. Three separate lessons that has the exact title or the exact. Thought form, word for word, they're the exact same. I don't know whether you notice, and they are lesson ninety four, lesson one hundred ten, and lesson one hundred sixty two. Three lessons, and there are of course about twenty review lessons that review the same, same thoughts. But I'm not talking about the reviews. I'm just talking about among the 365 lessons, there are three workbook lessons that are exactly the same. 94, 110, and 162 are all the same lesson, and this lesson is, "I am as God created me." And in each of these three lessons, Jesus is extremely radical. He basically starts each and every of these three lessons by saying something to the extent that this is this holding this one thought will correct. Every single error in your mind. This will heal all the past, all the future. This one thought will heal absolutely everything. I am as God created me. You know, with across the miracles and this awakening journey, if you really look at the three hundred and sixty-five lessons, you will notice how little Jesus want you to achieve. Somewhere, you know, at the beginning, there are a lot of new ideas, seemingly, for us to practice and hold in our mind. But if you really look through the lessons, just the title of the lessons, you will notice how much it is about. If you can just. Rely on God. If you can just rely on who you truly are, you don't need to do anything. God is your savior. God is the light in which you see. God is the love in which you forgive. God, 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 God is what is going to solve everything. And it's not, it's not you. It's not me. It's not this self that the ego invented. 
Jesus never said in anywhere in the in the whole course that you need to become something in order for the healing to happen. You need to achieve something in order for this. He even said you don't even need to believe this course. You just need to practice it. You just need to hold the thought. Be willing to hold the thought in your mind. And those thoughts, a lot of it is how much God will save you. God will heal you. God will be the love that you extend. And it's not, it's not us who needs to do anything. I know it is hard to believe to the egoic mind sometimes, but truly this is the experience. This is so simple. And with God and with Holy Spirit in my mind, I truly feel I don't need to think about anything else of this world. I know things will happen. I still communicate. But the moment I have a question in my mind, how is this going to work out? What should I do? All of these questions right now have very simple answer in my mind which is my life is yours spirit my day is yours my time is yours my plan is yours to decide i do not need to think i do not need to plan i do not need to figure things out all that i need is to remember i have already given my life to you to decide And you will show me, you will show me what I'm to do, what I'm to say and to whom. Because I have already given my life, my desire, my goal to you, I trust whatever that's unfolding in the perception is the plan and is what exactly needs to happen and is going to be for the good for everyone and that simple thought or simple answer to all the questions that arises in a practical day-to-day -day life brings immediate peace and happiness And when that becomes an experience, truly, there isn't any incentive or motivation to even give any mind energy toward practical, you know, solutions, cause and effect, problems and answers anymore. Things do come up needs to be communicated and needs to be handled but my mind truly stays with only one thing and that is the constant prayer of the Holy Spirit and when I do that it brings immediate peace and happiness so I know that the body seems to talk and the body seems to communicate, handle phone calls and travels and all of that. But in the mind, it is completely handled by Jesus because I know I have given my life to him. And any moment of time, I just need to remind myself, I have already decided on that. And right now, there is no exception. If I forget, if there is any stress or any moment of questions, I just need to remember 
this day is given to you, to Jesus, and be you in charge. So nothing else needs to exist in my mind. Nothing else needs to be figured out or thought about in my mind. The mind becomes very still and very quiet because it has only one thought, and that thought is Jesus, be you in charge. Jesus, this is your plan. Jesus, I have no life. I have no life but yours. And happiness is my one goal. And when that becomes the simple, single goal, it becomes very simple to achieve. And it's the conflicting goals in the mind that makes happiness seem very difficult. And this moment is all there is. If this moment, I do not remember spirit in my mind. If this moment, I get caught up in the practicality of the world or conflicts in my mind. Then I forget about healing in this moment. And healing doesn't come in the next moment, there, there is only this moment. And I can only make any choice in this moment. It is absolutely my own power to decide that this moment I am going to choose the spirit in my mind. It's very simple to choose to think about the spirit, to think how much I have given him everything and to think how much I want happiness above all else. And in that moment, I also remember that I don't know how to be happy. I don't know what I need to do to be happy. But the experience shows me that the moment I remember to think about the spirit and how he is going to and has already been orchestrating everything for me, that thought instantaneously makes me happy. When I realized that, I thought, wow, how simple is happiness. And I truly don't know how to be happy other than that. No amount of resources, material resources, relationships, comfort, pleasure, and approval, love in this world can give me that instant happiness and the, 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 the total fulfillment that I feel in my heart. There is nothing that can make me feel that way. And that is the reason why I know for a fact that I can say and mean when I think I have given my life to you, Spirit. I know that there is a total alignment when I think that. And I have. And I will.
So the message has just become simpler and simpler. There is no even much to talk about process anymore. And I just sincerely want to invite you to join me in this moment. That's there, there's all there is. If you can do it right here, right now, if you can do it in this moment, you have done it. And that's all that spirit is asked of you. This this is this is everything the Course in Miracle has asked of you. You know, this this is all there is. Thank you.